Atlantic City's financial crisis continues as the mayor and city officials are trying to find ways to avoid the looming government shutdown. Our own Nina Barati has the latest. Atlantic City's fight against a state takeover is still going strong. After announcing earlier this week a salary freeze for essential employees, the mayor and other city officials met today to keep the city in the loop. Mayor Guardian claims that the governor has not been presenting factual information and withheld $33.5 million that Atlantic City was forced by the state to put in their budget. It's important to be able to provide services for the residents of Atlantic City and there's no reason to be punishing them. They didn't do anything wrong. So we want to keep continuing to serve the residents as we were sworn in to do. But this, this only buys time. Ultimately, we need to find a, a, a solution, and, and we hope that the uh, governor and the Senate joins the table where everyone else is already sitting. Mayor Guardian said that City Hall will not lock its doors and essential municipal services will not be shut down, but the employees will be working without pay until the city receives their quarterly tax payment. He said it will take about $8.5 million to pay for three weeks worth of essential employee salaries and it only be a matter of weeks not months before we run out of money again so whether it's May or June uh, the city will run out of money again and at that point we will have no no money the state will have to come in the choice is really up to the governor right now this morning on local talk radio governor Chris Christie reiterated his all-or-nothing approach when it comes to signing the legislation that could determine Atlantic City's future in their finances Christie said the longer Atlantic City doesn't get its act together, the more it costs Atlantic County and all the citizens who live in all the municipalities of Atlantic County. And it hurts the region even more broadly. I, I represent the residents uh, and businesses of Atlantic City, but I also as an elected official represent all the people in the state of New Jersey. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.